All right, so I'm walking down to a spot that I've checked a bunch before. Originally I found it when uh, this area burned and I was coming here for disturbance morales. And this patch down here, kind of near the, river, the creek valley, didn't get quite as burned as the rest of it. And so uh, I continued with just its natural flushing of morels and king bull eats. Let's see what we can find. Okay, so that's a pretty obvious hump there. And that's that yellow coral. I'm guessing that's what this is as well. Oh no, another plant. What about this? What about this? Booyah. Man, that one wasn't hidden at all and you can see how Nice and fresh those are. The funny thing about spring king bolletes and other bolletes, especially the queen bolete out here in the Pacific Northwest, is that they'll often make, like, set a bunch of different pins for the primordia. So you can see one big one here, one here, one small one there, and then there's one in there, and then there's another one there, there. But it's gonna basically abort all these other ones. I mean, this one's already kind of squishy. And so it's not going to take those all the way. So along with the king, we also have uh, butter bolete and the bitter, bitter bolete. The bitter bolete is gray and it's not really poisonous, it's just too bitter to eat. So that's pretty easy to identify. What about this here? Sometimes they are deep. Nope, it's nothing. Okay. This is a coral. You can see it just poking through there. Like this. Oh, there we go. Hiding under that branch. Yeah, look how flat that one is. <laughs> it's like a 2D bullet. And again, there's a, another one that's growing right next to it right here. They'll probably be aborted and a bunch more down here. But if it's a good year, it could take uh, you know all of this to completion to maturity. So it can be very subtle and quite deep. What about that? I mean, that has to be a coral. It's too big to be anything else. You remember by the road is a good microclimate for mushrooms. There's some type of guild one. Uh, because the road accumulates moisture, sun can get in, warmth. Sorts of stuff makes mushroom humps out here, especially if it has a flat top. So the main spot I kind of check here is usually this open area here. And I found morels like right through here and going back there. And also kings kind of dispersed. It's the first time I've been here this year. There's another one of those cups. There's a 
those are cups as well. Uh, Bolete wouldn't make a hump like that. Oh, here's um, morale. Dried up. It's kind of crazy how naturally they desiccate out here. It's just so dry. Almost dries them better than a uh, dehydrator at home. Uh, so this one's pretty much completely dry. The stipe, the stem is still a little bit wet, but the top is completely dry. But I think I'll still take that. We can just either dry it or rehydrate it. Let's see. Oh, I see one right in the middle of the road. Huh. Oh, and this one's fresh. So fresh mushrooms are always nice and cool to the touch. And you can just tell it's still alive. Okay. Oh, here's some more. Two nice fresh ones. Also a fresh one that's been bitten off or something. Here's a couple more. It's a really nice one. There's one. There's one hiding behind a little log. Here's some in the branches here. Let's move you out of the way. So you can see they love these little gullies. Um, Cause again, just something else that collects moisture. These are all going to be nice and not wormy. Probably too hot for worms to do their thing out here. What is this? So it looks kind of humped from here, but from here we can see straight into it. So it's got to be an egg. Wah, wah, wah. So you saw how young those little buttons of the King Bullets we found a second ago. And if you go back and check our previous videos, we discussed the whole progression of the season, how one mushroom basically follows another. You can tell where we are in the season here. Look at that one. Nice, 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 nice. This. Nope, nothing.
So you can see in a decent spot, can actually get quite a good amount, even though these are pretty small mushrooms. You can see these all these roads that we use for mushroom hunting were originally cut for the timber industry. It'd be very difficult to get to the spot without that. So it's kind of a I guess a catch twenty two of being a mushroom hunter in Oregon. All right, so I'm gonna take a bit closer look around. As you can see, because of the, um, we are finding black still. We found those really young kings. It's still kind of in the middle of the season here. Here's a couple more. All right, so that's pretty good. So I'm just gonna trim these up, collect them all up, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, and keep on growing.